Go. Dear friends, what is charity all about? In this week's portion, Mishpatim, we read many laws of the Torah, how people have to behave with each other, and it covers some of the laws of charity as well. What is the Jewish viewpoint of charity? Most people think charity represents benevolence, someone is charitable, he's kind, he has a soft heart, he's giving, and it depends on your character. But that's not the way the Torah views it. Tzedakah comes from the word tzedek, which is justice. And charity is a duty, it's an obligation. Justice we have to pursue. God had told us that he blesses us with livelihood, and 90% of what we make, we may keep for ourselves to use at our discretion. But 10% we have to distribute to those who are in need, physically, spiritually, or in other ways. <clears throat> The Talmud tells us a story how an atheist came to Rabbi Akiva and said, Rabbi Akiva, if you say that your God is so benevolent and kind and great, why do I see so much poverty in the world? Why are there so many poor people? And Rabbi Akiva answered, there is enough food in the world to go around and everyone should be well fed. But God had created a system where some have more and some have less to allow the great character of kindness and benevolence to exist in the world. If we all had everything we needed, we wouldn't share with each other. We would never become givers. And being a giver is so important because that's what elevates us from just being a human being to being godlike. To give something that we earned hard, that we don't have to give, but just because we feel we have to help others. This is what God's values really are. And therefore God made poor people, those who have, so when someone fills the need of someone who doesn't have, they both become givers. The one who has is giving money, food, but the one who's receiving is giving back a great feeling that you can't get otherwise, a godlike feeling. We all know how great and elated we feel when we do someone a favor and we give something to someone of us. <clears throat> and in charity alone, Maimonides tells us that there are eight levels of charity. Because the most important thing in charity is that you're helping someone else and giving them what they need. But there are many ways of doing it. The lowest level of charity is even when you give it unwillingly. You're forced, embarrassed into giving it, you're still giving charity. But the highest level of charity is that we're not only filling the need of the person, but you're giving them a loan or a gift to enable them to stand on their own, to stand independently, to be able to establish themselves that they won't need to receive any more gifts from anyone and perhaps be at the level that they'll be able to help others as well. And therefore, it's so important as we read this week's portion and as charity is such an important part of Jewish living, Jewish community, Jewish life. There's no Jewish community without a free loan society. <clears throat> it's important to remember that charity is not dependent on our character, but it's an education. We have to learn and understand our obligations and our duties. God blesses us. We should all be on the blessed side of being able to give. And whatever we have, at whatever level we are in our career or life, the minute we earn a dollar, there is something we can give even 10 cents. And let us take the time to educate ourselves how to give charity, in our obligation of giving charity, to make this world the benevolent world, and most importantly, to have that great feeling of feeling godlike and being able to help others. May God bless you all, that He should give you success in all you do, to be able to help all of our Jewish institutions, the institutions in Israel that need and in our general community, and may we not need to have, see any more poverty, sickness, etc., etc. I want to wish you all Shabbat Shalom in Montreal. Candlelighting time is 517. All the best.